If you want this, Emily, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be my May wrap up. So I'm gonna be sharing with you 10 books that I have read this month. 10 is a really good number, I'm happy with it. This month was like all over the place as you will see because yeah. Let's just jump right into it. The first book I finished this month was Replay by Ken Grimwood. And I have to say I have been really into that whole trope of like someone dies and then they start all over again and again and again. I, I read earlier uh, this year the first 15 lives of uh, Harry August so this was another version of the story but this one has had a little bit of a twist uh, uh, towards the end that wasn't uh, in the other book. Plus the other book had like a lot of like a thriller part to it, this one not so much. And I feel like I can't say too much without kind of ruining the story in this case because you're following a man and he dies every time at the same time, the same day of the same thing and eventually he meets one other person but I don't want to say more than that because anything else would be kind of spoilery. It's almost like an adult version of other books that I've seen like this. Some parts of it I didn't enjoy as much but towards the end obviously someone that relives his life it kind of messes you up a little bit, so people tend to go on tangents. But I did end up enjoying uh, the whole wall story because some of the actions are things you would th think about doing. Anyway, uh, overall, I uh, was happy with it, but I'm still looking to try and read like all the books with the same idea, just because it's something I've been into. So yeah, I'm giving this one, I believe, a 3.75 four stars. I enjoyed it. Next, I tried for the first time this month the uh, try a chapter tag. If you don't know anything, you just choose uh, five books, you read the first chapter, and then you decide which book you are going to finish. And in my case, I chose five really popular YA books that I have been meaning to read, but I wasn't reaching for them because because I just didn't think they were, would be something that I would be into. But after reading the first chapter, I ended up reading one, maybe more than that, the one I did end up in that video uh, finishing was Vampire Academy by Rochelle Mead and I have to say I enjoyed this book a lot more than I thought I would. It's still very like angsty, teenagery, and like there's still uh, one of the character uh, that is a little bit like oh I'm pretty, I'm curvy, blah blah blah. But it wasn't as annoying as I thought it was going to be. I still enjoyed the story if you don't know anything about it, which I doubt. You're following uh, two main characters. The first one is a... is it Russian? Russian princess? and uh, she's a vampire and then she goes to school and then you're also following Rose which is more of the main character and uh, she's a dampier, is that how you call this? She basically is someone that is there to protect the vampires. So I mean I feel like nobody is really into vampires anymore but I enjoyed it more than I thought it would be. I believe I gave it a four stars too. It was good. I feel like teenage Emily would have liked it a lot more though but it was good. I would continue. This month I was supposed to read books with mental illness and that did not happen. I had a pretty rough month to be honest, as you will say at the end of the month. It just wasn't a right timing for me, but I did read one and it was Schizo by Nick Sheff. This was very May. You're following a main character who um, a year or two ago uh, he had like a mental breakdown and during that time his first uh, schizophrenic episode, uh, his brother is kidnapped and he's just been uh, feeling very very guilty ever since and I have to say I saw the ending coming from the beginning so it kind of ruined the whole thing a little bit for me. I like the cover. <laughs> I never like covers with people but this one I kind of like. It's kind of trippy. But I don't know. I'll give it three stars. It wasn't horrible. It just really wasn't for me. Next book was something that I was so excited to read because I... Why is it... My camera is focusing on... No! Focus on me. Me. See, that's another problem whenever there's faces. Now it's on him. That's a problem when there's faces on books. Okay, so like I was saying, uh, I have been dying to read this book. World War Z by Max Brooks because I really love the movie which I haven't watched in a really long time and I absolutely love anything that is like post-apocalyptic sci-fi. It's just something that I'm really into and no. I feel like everyone was saying how this was so much better than the movie 
well, that they at least were very, very different, which I agree with that. But this is basically a bunch of interviews of like different people in different parts of the world that survived the zombie apocalypse. And although I like the information, like how the zombies were this, were that, compared to like the usual zombies, I didn't really like like the book. I had to literally skim the last couple pages because I couldn't do it anymore, which I never do that. <sighs> Probably one of the biggest disappointment of the year. I I don't even know what to say. I'm just extremely disappointed with it. I give it two stars simply because, again, I enjoyed some of the info in there, but I couldn't force myself to finish it. Like, I just couldn't. The next book surprised me so much. When I'm going to be trying to explain what it is about, you're going to be like, eh, it kind of sounds boring. At least it did to me. But everyone kept mentioning this book and it is Big Little Lies by Lion Moriarty and you're following mothers, like three specific mothers with children that are going for the first time to school, which I'm like, that's n no, but the book starts with someone is dead, murdered, accident, you don't know, and throughout the book you get little hints and then basically mystery, who killed who. And I ended up really enjoying it. I read this pretty quickly and there's like 450 plus pages. Read it super quickly. I watched a TV series and I have to say, it shouldn't be surprising. Usually the book is better than the movie or TV series. But in this case, it was like very disappointing. The TV series, the ending, which was the best part of the book, completely ruined. Like it felt so like... But if you were looking for a very engaging book, especially for summer, something that, even though there is a murder and there's some definitely serious topics in there, I felt like it was a great book to like bring on vacation or read at the beach. Even though it's very serious. I don't know why, but it felt that way. Anyway, let me know if you have read this. Do you feel the same way? Because I feel like it was definitely a very... I haven't read a lot of thrillers, which thriller season will come soon and I am planning on reading so many horror thriller books if you have any great recommendations feel free to leave them but I feel like this would be a great one next one is the best book that I read this month and I don't even know why I don't even know why it took me two months to continue the series why Yay! Finally finished the Rona Chronicles. This is The Beauty of Darkness by Mary E. Pearson. It's the third book in this series and I read the first one in February, the second one in March and then I wasn't even continuing at all. I wasn't thinking about it. And then I finally got to this one and I was like, why did I wait? This was so good. I believe I gave it 4.5, 5 stars. Really enjoyed it. There's like almost 700 pages in here but it reads so quickly like literally you can read this in like two three days insane although it is why so like the writing is pretty big but if you don't know anything i feel like i've been telling this story to everyone but this series you're starting the first book uh, a kiss no a kiss of deception i think that's the name and you're following a princess who uh, on the day of her wedding she just decides to run away because she doesn't want to marry that prince that she doesn't even know so there's two men going after her there is an assassin sent to kill her and then there's a prince that she was supposed to marry and it sounds cheesy it's definitely a uh, YA romance in a fantasy world which I'm usually not big on fantasy but this one totally worked for me really enjoyed it I love it I've been recommending it to like a lot of people I actually don't even have the first book right now because I let someone read it and I don't let my books that often because people always ruin them but yeah uh, if you were still looking for a great fast-paced fun book to read I would read that series for sure. So like I said, five stars, loved it. Next is when uh, things went weird. I, I, I was saying I was having a rough month and I decided to just pick up a book that I would just laugh at myself and probably roll my eyes and I did. You're gonna laugh when you actually see it if you don't know what I'm talking about. But yeah, I, I read The Selection by Kara Cast. I don't even know why I started it, or why I finished it, or why this, and then this happened. I don't even understand. Uh, this series is basically junk food. You eat it, you can't stop yourself, you're not even sure if you're actually even enjoying yourself, but you can't put it down. So, if you don't know anything, this is a like dystopian society where uh, people would classify like seven, eight, 
type of people, eight. Eight, and you're following America Singer. And yes, it's her name. And she's a five, which means she's an artist. And then all the young girls participate into like a reality TV show to uh, find a new queen for the prince. Like, it was super, super cheesy. I rolled my eyes non-freaking-stop. And in the beginning, there's so much, like, girl hate. And there's a freaking triangle, love triangle, which I hated. And the whole series could have been one book. But I read the whole thing. So, I mean, I can sit here and complain all day, but I still read the whole thing. So, I feel like part of me just wanted to be done with it and just know what happens and then be like, ugh, you were trash. You know what I mean? But I did guess that part of me enjoyed it, weirdly. The last book though, you know how uh, towards like the first book, the main character is supposed to be a bit annoying and then they get better? <laughs> their case for her. She was so bad. I hated her in the third book, but there was a lot less girl hate, which I did appreciate. So, I mean, you can read this super quickly. There are all three of them, like 300 pages and I read like one a day, so. I mean, if you like these type of like super fast read, this is definitely one that you uh, should grab. The last book I read was again something that I loved the movie of and I was like, hey, it's a book, might as well read it. This is I, Robot by Isaac Asimov and this is so not like the movie. Like, so not like the movie. There's like 250 pages and it's like nine short stories that one person tells about like her whole life as a... Uh, a robot uh, psychiatrist. I don't remember the term exactly, but I think part of me didn't appreciate the whole book as much as I should have because I was so disappointed that it wasn't at all like the movie. But with that said, uh, towards the end, I really started appreciating it. So I don't know if it's the first couple stories that were a little bit meh or me just not understanding what the book exactly was, but I did enjoy the last couple stories a lot more. So I ended up giving it 3.75. Just don't go into it expecting the movie. I still enjoyed it. Uh, I've been really into uh, sci-fi mood, which I mean, you can kind of see it. So, <laughs> yay. So yeah, um, those are the 10 books that I have read this month. I told you, uh, things went a little crazy this month. It was all over the place, but it is done. We can start a new month and start fresh. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you have read any of these books and what you think of them. Don't forget to subscribe and not miss any future videos and I will see you in my next one. Bye. You gotta listen up, listen up